guys, I'm filling up the sink because I'm gonna be changing the water filters. So a lot of you mentioned, I mean, some of you mentioned on Instagram that you want me to do a video on my filter system. I really never have. So I will do a video of my filter system. So I'll try to go through it thoroughly. So as you can see right here, we have a separate faucet, okay? So underneath here, we have a reverse osmosis. This is the storage tank. The water goes through, goes through, flows through this way. So I have a reverse osmosis and I change these filters every two years. Um, they're good filters. I'll put a photo up here of all what they catch. They catch bacteria. And this is an AquaSure reverse osmosis. Everything that I have is AquaSure. So there you go. Filling up the sink to clean out my filter canister. All right, guys, we are now out here in our water softener room. Here's our softener and our two filters. Here's one filter and here's the other filters. All right, guys, so let me explain something. Okay, you're wondering, now oh, that is weird. You have one long filter, one short filter. All right, listen, this filter, this first filter here is a five micron sediment filter. That five micron sediment filter, this filter here goes into this filter right here. See the length? It would be kind of like that. This filter goes into this canister. And then this filter right here goes into this canister. Now let me explain something. Here's my pressure tank. So my water, um, let me think here. My water comes up from the well right here, goes into the pressure tank, comes out of the pressure tank. I'll say that again. My water comes in from the well pump, goes into the pressure tank. It comes out of the pressure tank, dirty, disgusting water, rusty water, comes into here. Here's the bypass valve, but the water comes out of the pressure tank, flows, goes to here, up, over, over, comes here, goes into the first stage filter, flows through, goes through the carbon filter, the second stage aquasure, goes into the softener, into my aquasure 60 grain hardness water softener, and into the house. So my water is filtered, my water is filtered two times. I just installed the shelf to hold this. Now guys, some people say, oh, some people say install a filter after the softener. Well, there's benefits to that and there's not. For me, if I would not have any filters before my softener, all that bad water would be going into my softener and my saw, it would be affect the performance of my softener. So I'm gonna show you these filters have been used for three months. I'm gonna show you how bad they can get. And so yeah, and I'll show you what this filter get. Now remember, this filter goes into the second stage. This filter goes into the first stage. So the first stage filter uh, catches, um, it catches, removes sediment, dirt, sand, silt, rust, scale particles, okay? So that takes the first load off. This thing here, takes out all of this, this last stage. You can read that. So let's get to changing the filters. But yeah, this is an over, overall view of my filter system. All right, guys, now. Let's. Shut off the water and turn on the bypass so they still have water on the inside and uh, let's drain out the filters and see how bad they are. And the second stage filter guys also gets bacteria. That's why I got it. So the first stage. I'm going to drain all the water pressure from it.
All right, guys. Moment of truth. Um. Yeah. Okay. Here's the first stage. Do you see that? It's just. It's repulsive. The first stage. All of that gunk would be going into my house. Okay. Now. Then I have to clean the canisters. Now the second stage. Wonder how the second stage looks. Okay. Cold water on my feet. That just feels so amazing, guys. Okay. Moment of the truths. My second stage didn't look too bad. So that is a good sign, guys. It looks a little bit orange, but it doesn't look too bad. I'll set them side by side. You can see them after I'm done. So it's time for new filters into our filter system. So we'll set this thing down out here. And guys, one thing you want to note is if your second stage just has a slight brown to it, that is good. That means your water's not that bad. If your first stage is getting most of it, then that's good, that's awesome. So I need to clean the canisters but I'll show you the new ones compared to the old ones. So let me set it up here. Um, is it still recording? Yeah. So here, let's open this up. Nice and white. Mm, I love it. So, let's get this box out. And guys, a tip that I can give you is if you if you're if you have a carbon filter like this thing with a rubber seal, and if this rubber seal, if you, the tip of the day, if you're changing your filter that has rubber seals on it, and if you ever get a filter shipped in with no rubber seals on them or one missing, you should save you should save the old rubber seals from your old filter. If you ever get into a dilemma, and let's say you order a filter off Amazon, the filter comes with no, let, okay, I have the rubber seals, I took them off. Let's say this filter gets shipped in like this, with no rubber seals, and you are thinking to yourself, okay, I'm screwed, I can't use it. Well, tip of the day, you use your old use your old rubber seals. It'll work, I'm not joking, use them. They, look, they might be have grooves in them, but I don't often save the old rubber seals, but I, I would. It's just I learned that from someone off uh, handy I, off YouTube. It's just a suggestion. So, yeah. So let's get the canister filters cleaned up and let's get the filters back in. There's my wife, my little hedgehog. All right, guys. Um, I don't know how well you can see that. But look at the difference. The old filters and the new filters. Three months. I change them every three months. So when I put these in, I don't have to change them until June. So let's get these filters in. All right, let's get to these in. So, 
gonna put in the second stage, clean the canisters out. Make sure both of your rubber seals are in. Good. Because if your rubber seals are not in, the filter won't filter. The dirt and the stuff will bypass it. So we'll go put it in carefully. I always pull it back out, make sure the rubber seal's in. Yep. I don't know. I just always get so nervous about it. But anywho. Yep. <laughs> okay, this is in. Now I'm going to turn it on. And guys, when you're turning on the filter canisters, don't over tighten it. It's, it's not necessary. Oh my. I always get nervous. I don't know why. You know, it's down in there. There we go. And on your rubber seals on the filter canisters, make sure there's no dirt on it. Because if there's any dirt on it, it's going to leak. Now, the first stage. Alright, here's the first stage with the new filter. There we go. That's good enough guys. Now, just turn on the water. Then you need to make sure there's no air in the lines. So the bypass is turned off. Um, and I'm going to go ahead, guys, and um, backwash the softener. Might as well. So everything's brand new. Push that in. And there we go. Now the softener, softener's backwashing. Okay, that should be it. New filters are in. We should have clean water again. And so yeah, I'm excited. All right, getting all the air purged out is backwashing. Then we'll have good water. So there you go, guys. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Um, some of you mentioned you wanted a 
video of my filter and softener system. I have never I have never done a video of me changing my filters here out of our new lake home. So that's done. Like, comment, subscribe, and we will see you in that next amazing video. So I have to record this, guys. I do believe our two girls are going to be Jeep lovers. So there we go.